and and how does the project um, work? Uh, about uh, the process and um, how you how you teach them or how you um, done this project. Okay, um, this project is funded by uh -huh. CU Social Engagement. Ah, right. Yeah, and the head of project is Dr. Yutana. Uh -huh. He is the assistant to the president uh -huh. of Jalongkorn University, and his expertise is music education. Mm. So he believes that music. Is um, vital to to develop the student mm -hmm. to develop the human beings. Mm -hmm. So um, this project, he used the music as transportation mm -hmm. to help the student um, to uh, increase their discipline, yeah, and increase their patience and so on. So um, we use the CU alumni network, mm -hmm. yes, who is graduated. Um, from the Faculty of Education in Music Education and most of them are the, the experts in mm -hmm. the marching band mm -hmm. so they, we use them to be a teacher mm -hmm. of the student in the school mm -hmm. in Salaburi province so um, we went to the school uh, like every week mm -hmm. yeah, to train them about the music skill yes and Apart from that, we train them the way of the marching band. Mm. Uh, it means that we train them um, both the marching mm -hmm. yeah, for or the display mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And we train them in many ways of the marching band training. Mm. Yes. Um, apart from that, we taught them a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. Yes, such as the ceremony song. Mm -hmm. um, the um like the classical song mm -hmm. yes and also the song which composed by king rama the ninth mm -hmm. yes as well so um we train them directly mm -hmm. um face to face communication mm -hmm. to help them to understand that what is the right thing uh -huh. what is the best way to practice the music how to hold the instrument correctly mm -hmm. and so on mm. what, yeah. what, one question just popped up in my mind mm. is about why teacher in the school cannot teach students why should be an alumni from Chulalongkorn University okay in fact um, the, the uh, teacher in the school okay I, mm. I will start like this in Thailand we lack of teachers mm. who train directly mm -hmm. in that discipline or in the course yeah yeah mm -hmm. um, in in the school mm -hmm. especially for the rural area mm -hmm. so in Rung Rian Gang Khoi or Gang Khoi school mm -hmm. he ha they has just only two uh, music teacher uh, okay uh, so they, they they can't um teach a lot of students uh -huh. so they need um, the expert uh -huh. yeah, uh, to teach to use their specific knowledge mm -hmm. yeah, to, to um, transmit mm -hmm. to the student mm -hmm. so um, in faculty of education we have the music education mm -hmm. ma major mm -hmm. and, uh, and both the bachelor and master degree mm -hmm. so they are they um so the CU alumni are well trained uh -huh. yeah so they are ready to transmit their knowledge and most of them are the teacher mm. in Bangkok, in Bangkok. yeah, yeah. Mm, okay so um because like they have a limit of the teacher in yeah. the school and I suppose that one teacher just only know one like a um, music instrument or maybe two but marching band we have to know a lot of the music instrument yes, right that, yeah uh -huh. that's why we use our alumni yeah. yes we put like five or six experts uh -huh. with each instrument uh -huh. into the school uh -huh. and and this is your own expert and i mean the expertise of the july Longkorn university yeah. as well because um this from the faculty of the education, education yes. that they are focused in the music education and yeah music education that's great okay so and what were the expectation you want um that you want to meet in, in, in this project, what what your expectations? Okay, firstly, we want them to use their free time mm. effective, effectively. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in Saturday and Sunday, um, they should not go to 
um, ride the motorcycle yeah. and racing in mm -hmm. the street. So okay, yes, how okay uh -huh. go to school yeah. and then we practice. We use yeah. the music to mm -hmm. help them um, um, use their free time effectively. Uh -huh. Apart from that, we think that if we can provide the opportunity for them to yeah. enter to the university, mm -hmm. so um, we should do that because many students in the rural area they lack mm -hmm. of opportunity mm -hmm. so that's why we are trying our best to help them prepare themselves so if you want to study in like the music college so mm -hmm. okay we will give you mm -hmm. both the knowledge about the theory and yeah. also the practice as well okay, okay. so there are a lot of outcomes that happens to the students and do you find any unintended outcomes from this um, project? Okay, um, many of them become a good musician. Wow. Yeah, oh. um, they improve their music skill uh -huh. a lot if, up, up, after they join our project uh -huh. and apart from that, um, they um, be like more patient yeah. Yeah, and have more discipline mm -hmm. okay then when they went back home okay they can like manage their mm -hmm. uh, their own life mm -hmm. because um the matching band method um mm -hmm. force them to know that what is the dis discipline mm -hmm. yeah because they have to work with the many people, people in yes, the bands. yes yeah mm -hmm. well, interesting yes, and, and, and apart from that um last year yeah we have like four students mm -hmm. can enter the university in the music college oh yeah. this is an uh, unintended outcome yeah, yeah because yeah. we didn't expect we didn't going to train them for going yeah. to the university yeah. but in this in this case when they participate in our project yeah. say so they have more skills and they they can enter to the university later oh i think it's really very important outcome that happens yeah, for, for, for the project. Very good. Okay, and I heard that your project also used the SROI or Social Return on Investment as mm -hmm. a tool for evaluation as well. Could you give me um, a short brief why you use this tool as an evaluation method? Okay, for the evaluation, as you know, um, many evaluation methods concern mm -hmm. about the number mm. on the paper mm. but um, SROI concern about human mm -hmm. so um, we have to find out that um, what is the difference between the um, our samples mm. in, in each um, area mm. so they, they have like their own um, uniqueness they have their own um, like like what they want mm -hmm. with each different with each other so the SROI gave us a lot in information mm -hmm. to manage and plan mm -hmm. the project that will be suit them mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. yeah so SROI is quite important yeah mm -hmm. oh, good good and and after the SROI evaluation what do you plan for uh, develop the project further I mean that you use a uh, finding of the SRI and you see any point that you gonna mm -hmm. develop this project in the future okay for the marching band project mm -hmm. we started since 2015 yep yes and now it's like five, five years, years already yep. mm -hmm. so we are going to establish the new academic center Whoa. in another school mm -hmm. so SROI help us to plan mm -hmm. the state who's the stakeholder, mm -hmm. which stakeholder is related mm -hmm. to um, our new project. Mm -hmm. And we can um, find out, we can figure out that which type of academic center mm -hmm. will gonna fit with, the, with that context, with that um, area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so SRI is quite important. Okay, well, perfect. Okay, so you plan to set up a new academic center. center. It means that you're going to expand this idea to yep. another, school. another areas, another yep. school, and you can like develop more students to have um, like a music skills mm -hmm. in, in, in this from this project. Okay, good. All right, I think we have um, a detail of 
this project and then we know that how Jula Longkorn create the social value in the area called Salaburi province mm -hmm. that can help students um, in the area who come from the other place yeah and then um, you have to put them like a social immunity to them this is a key of mm -hmm. this project so it's very interesting thank you very much Thank Dr. you so Tanasin, much. for the details